everyone, and welcome to this episode of Married to Medicine. Yes, so let's jump right on to it. So we start off that episode with Mariah and Dr. Simone and they heated fight or what have you. Mariah asked Dr. Simone, was she happy? Um, so we started off with the heated fight. They get over it, say it done, do whatever. Dr. Simone and Mariah had their little words at the fight or whatever. And <laughs> they asked Dr. Simone, was she happy? Because, you know, all this come out of what have you. But anyway, the problem is Mariah, she, she, she apologizes, but she apologizes in general. She doesn't never apologize for what she do. So, for instance... Say heavenly said, I apologize for what I said to your mother. I was wrong for that. I'm sorry. Mariah said, I apologize. But Mariah, what do you apologize for? She always say, I apologize that we are not getting along. I apologize that things happened that made us grow apart. She don't ever say, I apologize for what I've done. She don't never claim it. She don't never own it. This is her problem with people. Then she always claims that she she owed and she apologized and she go to take shots. She still sitting up here saying she wasn't taking shots at Heavenly. Anybody with two eyes that can see seeing she took shots at heavenly it was plain and simple because it all she had to do is leave out if, if it wasn't a shot at heavenly she wouldn't say you have never disrespected my mama the only person that disrespected her mama was heavenly so uh and toya and, and toya getting the getting the award because a toy and disrespect when they got into the fight because she said something to Mama Lucy. So, see, that's what I'm saying. It was pure shade. Anybody didn't see that that was shade is it's because they showing favoritism. You see here, this is an unbiased opinion. I don't show favoritism. I like the shows. I like all the women's. I don't pick a, a favorite. If I do have a favorite, I'm still going to call a spade a spade. A duck is a duck, quack. So... I'm going to call Mariah for what she was, and she's shady, and she shaded heavily. The end, there's no, if you didn't see it, you saw it, you just don't want to claim it. I ain't going to be arguing about that shit, because I'm so tired of seeing people in the blogs claiming that uh, she wasn't shady, and hell, she was. She full of, she full of mess, or whatever, and they, they called it for what she was. Anyway... Quad told y'all this was going to happen. How many reviews? I'm going to have to say this because I'm try I'm tired of saying it. Quad told them down there in New Orleans, this is how Mariah is. This is what Mariah do. And this is what she's doing. So anyway, so the show Quad going about her business. The trash still not being empty. She's still being the wife and the husband around the house. Ain't none of that changed. Heavenly husband told her she was wrong in her response to Mariah. And I'm glad he did tell her that she was wrong because she think that man's supposed to tell her everything that she do is right, but he don't be doing that. And um, he told her she need to know when to walk away. And he told Heavenly that her words are too harsh. Too harsh. And he also told her that she don't have to react to everything being said. She just choose to go the way that she go. And I'm glad he be telling her and getting her together because somebody need to. Now, Dr. Contessa got to figure out what she need to do with Miss Renee. In the real world, I'm going to tell you, Miss Renee maybe done got fired and we maybe done called the nanny service and put in some nanny cams and got us a new nanny. But I'm going to tell you what, if she don't want to fire Miss Renee, fire and call Miss Renee, but Miss Renee, but you're going to have to get her together and say, listen here. I know that we feel close to you and you've been like a mother to, mother to me and whatnot, but you have to disrespect me. Never in life can you do anything like you did again. But in all honesty, after she threw something at me, I don't know how this is going to work out. Because see, honey, I'm a Gemini. You threw something at me and I see you again, I'm definitely going to have to get you together. Definitely. She, she you know, it, it, that, she's just real disrespectful. And I like what her husband said. She, you know, she, she can't be disrespectful like that. I feel like he wants to say uh, to Dr. Contessa, she going to have to go or either learn to be disrespectful. And I feel like he's just trying not to be rude and say, look, if she act like this again, she got to get out. Because I feel like he knows his wife likes having a motherly figure. But at the same time, 
like any husband, he liked, hell no, not up in here. That's going to have to go. Anyway, Mariah Simone talked, and Mariah still full of crap. She's still saying she didn't shade heavenly. Um, even after he heavenly apologized to her e evil mama, Mariah still went in there with shade with them shady uh shady awards, still lying and saying that she didn't when she did. Um, she still claimed that she apologized, but she don't ever po directly apologize. I just told y'all about all that. Jackie and Curtis. So they finally sit down and talk. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I think that was really cute how they sit down and talk. He came in and did his man stuff like he normally do around the house. And um, it's obvious that they miss each other. And after you've been married that long, you go miss each other. And I'm tired of people on all these vlogs and all this stuff saying she don't need to take him back. Let me tell y'all lonely hoes something. You ain't never been married. Shut your damn mouth. You don't know nothing. And I'm going to tell you, you don't have the right to say she shouldn't give him another chance. She shouldn't take him back or nothing because you don't know how it feels to be married to somebody. Being married and, and girlfriend and boyfriend is totally different from, you know, girlfriend, the girlfriend, boyfriend part. You can just jump up and walk out. Being married is not that simple. You got things to divide, things to split, papers to sign, judges to pay for things to do, houses to dissolve, other stuff. Now, there are some people that ain't married that have the same things, but that's your dumbass fault. You should never have that type of stuff with a man and you don't have no ring anyway. So, that's some of you. Yeah, I said it. So, moving on. I don't see nothing wrong with Dr. Jackie giving Curtis another chance. People make mistakes in life. You, There's no man and there's no woman that's never going to make no mistake in a relationship because there are women out there that cheat just as much as men cheat. And how I feel about it, he made the mistake. But at, but I'm going to tell you, for Jackie, what she needs to do is go out and date somebody. She ain't got to get in the bed and sleep with him, but at least get a little sugar from a different man. This will make, make it easier for her to cope with Curtis because once a man cheats on you, and you try to go, when you start back going, and I'm speaking from experience, when um you try to go back into that relationship and you try to, the relationship can work. But when you go back into it, it's hard because when you're trying to kiss him, be in the bed with him, if you're trying to have sex with him, do stuff with him, in your mind, all you seeing is, man, he did this with her. And you're going to be awkward. But if she was to go out and date another man and get a little, you know, it it makes it less a little bit more tolerable but anyway <clears throat> poor henrietta i remember having um to carry my daughters for their first pap smear and your first pap smear is the most humiliating thing in the world horrible and i so felt for her i was like poor thing and i'm gonna tell you something i like that dr simone knew to say little person it is a disrespect to say midget i'm tired of y'all punk asses poking fun and saying stuff that's inappropriate and stop doing that because they have hearts and feeling like regular people and for you to have your big grown crusty rusty ass making fun of somebody smiling you and stuff like that. You don't know nobody else's struggle. You're going to take that up with God. I'm going to go on and tell you now. Keep on messing with people. Y'all leave them people alone. They're not jokes. Just because if you watch Little Women of LA, just because people want to take them and pay them to be humiliated, it doesn't mean everyone that you see wants to be humiliated. And for somebody, I don't give a damn if you're doing a review a recap or what you saying to to talk to them in such a horrible way i have no respect for you you are a punk ass bitch anyway moving on heavenly and this daughter of hers that she thinks seems like uh fantasia Heavenly, like most parents want the girl to go in there and have one lesson, start coming out of that blowing like Fantasia, not going to happen. Learning how to sing is just like being in gymnastics, being on the swim team, all this kind of stuff. It's going to take hard work, lots of time. 
to learn how to sing and get your voice trained to not sound like somebody slammed a cat in a door. The child can't sing. She can't carry no tune and she flat. Pretty little girl. I just feel like everybody doesn't have to be a singer. Everybody doesn't have to be in Atlanta have to be in the music industry. There it has to be some other talent that the little girl has. The girl, the little girl look like she a doggone genius. It has to be some other talent that she's into. A lot of people can write music, but they can't sing it. Maybe she can write it. But a lot of rappers learn to sing. And if they can learn to sing, so can a lure, honey. And she a pretty little girl. But anyway... I'm glad Dr. Simone and Cecil talking to see them talking and laughing at both the uh, 90s party and on this episode. That was real good. I'm glad he sit down and talked to her about the investment he made. See, Cecil is a real man. Just because his wife a doctor, he don't want to just sit at home and live off her money and be a bum. He wants to see be the man of the house like he's supposed to do and take care of. In the IT world, they keep downsizing. Everything is going to computers and online slowly but surely. Because I work from home. I'm, I do IT from home. That's what my degree is in. Everything is downsizing. Paying stuff is getting cut. But I'm going to tell you. Because it's going to online. It's going to computers. I don't have to go to the corporate world. I, I take one step right over here. And that's where you can do it online now. But anyway. He wants to have something. If his job ends. And they downsize. So many people losing their jobs. Didn't have nothing to fall back on. He invested in a company. Where he can have a, something to do outside of his job. Once he either retire or if the job was to fold, then he has something else to do. I'm proud of him for doing that. He He's planning for their future and he believes the money that he invested won't be lost. And um, he told her he was sorry for moving that amount of money. He apologized and, you know. I wish she did just talk to her like in the first place. Cause she, in her mind, she thought he don't want to spend it on a woman. So her gave some, the woman some money and all that kind of stuff. But nope. But once she found out what he invested in, she told him, just talk to me next time and be honest with me. So my mind won't be running and things won't go to the level in which they went to. Because when you don't talk and communicate, it leaves a person the room to speculate, imagine, and form whatever opinion in they head they want to, even if it's not right or not. So, it was good to see Dr. Greg and Quad laughing when she was in there um, cooking, getting ready for their focus group. And I'm glad they had that focus group. I just feel like the focus group was real productive, and they actually got somewhere. Um, when, <laughs> when they showed Dr. Greg, my husband said, they go that crazy, son of a bitch. No, he said, they go that crazy, son of a bitch. I laughed so doggone hard because the last, he seen that episode when he acted a fool on quiet and my husband was just like, what's wrong with that dude? Like, because me and him have went through that. Like the conversation they was having, my husband and I have went through what quiet and <laughs> Dr. Greg went through. And my husband didn't act like that. He didn't get up and storm it out of the room and storm it, about to turn a little shoe car over down the street or nothing like that, trying to speed off real fast. We just talked about it and things got, you know, he worked on the situation and it got good and we good. <laughs> we real, real good. So, you know. He said, basically, he it was just really crazy, just uncalled for. But anyway, um, he he worried about money and retiring well, but he missing the point that w w you must gonna be retiring to somebody else because you won't be retiring with quiet if you keep doing what you're doing. How you gonna re retire and talking about y y for them? It is not gonna be a them. There's no love. You pushing her away. You running her off. No affection or none of that. And he can't understand that because he think everything has got to be money, money. I worked the work. And then, but he said something that finally made sense. It's like 
he didn't have anything or wasn't watched people struggle and now it's like he not gonna struggle he don't want to struggle and he just so messed up in the mind behind it that he he failed to see other important aspects of the relationship like you need to love your mate love your wife and just working is not showing them that you love them you have to actually Show some emotion and some affection. But I'm glad he finally did talk to her. He told her that he appreciates everything she does. But um, I hope he learns to show her more, lo more love and affection. Because to me, for quiet, it's not just about material, mater the material things. To me, the material things is more like what he wants. Why I just want some love and she keep telling them I pay for what I got. Basically, I can pretty much well be comfortable by myself. She said, I mean, it may not be as lavish, but I I'll be okay. She said, but I just want to be loved. I you know, if you took everything away at the end of the day, you know, I don't want to feel alone. And if she can't get him to understand that. It don't matter how much stuff you buy, how much money you have, that does not replace the feeling of loneliness and not being loved. And that's what her fear is and her problem is. And maybe he'll understand it. But it was good that the focus group did help them see that, did point that out to them, got them to kind of see, you know, got him to kind of see. And I, it, when she was crying this time and he normally gets mad, it was good that he couldn't run away and he faced it and he's seen it. And I think things are going to get better for all the couples. Toya and Eugene, y'all. When Toya told, when Eugene told Toya, <laughs> this is 50 Shades of Black. <laughs> I laughed at him so freaking hard. He said, this is 50 Shades of Black, but they was cute. And I'm glad they, Toya finally going to get her some sex. And he was, and, um, uh, Quad hooked Toy up with a little outfit. Didn't she know she came through for She had to pick out a nice outfit. Maybe she she get a couple of more outfits like that. She'll get it a little bit more. But I think Toya mouth messes it up for them because she go on about the wrong stuff from money to most time it's about money because she need the best of everything. Sometimes she shit up, start saying no off the wall dumb shit. Then I think that <laughs> It would just be better. Like, it wouldn't be as bad. But anyway, that's all this review. I think you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next review. Bye.